All right, you can see, got the intake off, and really, other than being a little bit dirty, we dropped some stuff in it, but everything looks to be pretty good. Um, oh man, the ladder's going, which is good and bad. I mean, all the cams look good. All that looks fine, so unfortunately, oh me, we didn't find anything major. So uh, next step's gonna be pulling the heads off. see anything that's like that's a bad thing we're not finding anything yet it might just not be there oh me oh bolts one light there's none over aha i'll never get this head off with a lot head bolt in it it'll never come off really i guarantee it well i'll be darned I guess you want air too? Uh, would help. There you go. Let me, uh... I think that should be it. Alright, ready? Yep. these pins drop it on my toe just let it go just let it run sit down for a minute i can't i picked oh. it up off the pin oh well done Just hold it. No, you got it. All right. Okay. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's about 65 pounds. All right. Felt like it was more than that, but okay. Boy, there were some pistons right there, I'll tell you what. I know. Yeah. God, that's a big old um, monster. And, uh, or a cool. I've heard Talon kind of dab that water out of there and stuff. Yeah. We don't get any flash rust yep. anymore than we have to. Yep. Well, we can spray it down with some oil. Yeah. I'm kind of glad we pulled them out. Your uh, intake holes are awfully plugged up. Or your coolant passages. Uh, yeah. Coolant? I would think so. I think that's a gasket on there. I think you're looking at the gasket. And, and it might be plugged up. How, how, how small are those holes? Those I have no idea. Uh, apparently, apparently well, gotta... yes and no. Yes, yeah. those holes are a lot bigger and two, it's fortunate it's just stuck to your gasket. Oh. But I think those holes are supposed to be bigger than that because look at your holes in your block. Let's see what you got. You had like an eighth inch hole or a quarter inch hole and some of them are plugged completely up. They've just rusted over. Unless Apparently it was heavy. Yeah, unless Looking they're more. just made that way. Oh. But you got some awfully big cooling passages to be restricting down that far. We'll find out when we get new gaskets. Anyway, um, cylinders don't look bad. No, I can tell. No, I mean I don't see any weird scoring in it, and the one that's dead, which I don't have a light. But well, I was it, getting ready to grab you one after I wiped my hands. It doesn't down. look awful. Alrighty, so we got one head off. And we might have found some of our damage. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick this back up again. Oh, yeah, I got it. All right. So, so kind of excuse the wetness. The wetness is from when we put oil in it the first time. But you can see this. Well, it's kind of hard to see because of the light. Anyway, this intake, yeah, should be exhaust valve is a lot more beat up around the edges 
versus these, you can still see the machining marks around them. These, you can't. So what we're thinking is those are pretty blown out and may need to be replaced and relapped. Everything else looks pretty good on the head. You know, everything else, not too bad. So, all that looks pretty good. Head gasket doesn't look all blown out around the edges. Other than those look all stopped up. So, probably having a little bit to do with our get a little warm problem. And, uh, no, everything else looks, looks okay. It's just that one, these valves here look a little beat up. And then let me show you the piston. All right, so if you can see inside our cylinder here, you can see all that pitting down in the bottom. Now, this cylinder was still holding oil from when we filled it with oil to do the wet compression test. So we know our rings are still sealing, so that's good. But all the rest of them don't have that. So for some reason, this cylinder was getting water in it at some point in its life and rusted the edge of these pistons. Now, could that have been 10 years ago? Could have been two years ago. We don't know, but we're thinking we're finding some of our culprits because if it was getting water in it, it could have been rusting those valves and uh, given our low compression. So we're gonna, we, we might have found our smoking gun. So anyway, I'm gonna take it to the engine machine shop on Monday, but we're gonna go ahead and pull this other head off and uh, just keep going along and we'll uh, kind of assess the rest of the damage once we get done. But it's looking good because we might have found everything. All the push rods look good, valves look good, or the uh, lifters and everything, push rods, all that looks fine. So it's, uh, it's good and bad. It's bad we found, you know, we have a problem, but it's good that we found the problem we had. So that's, you know, you got to look at the bright side of the whole situation. But uh, we're going to get this other head popped off and uh, check it out. Alrighty, well, you can see we got the other head off and really not a lot of damage, which is good, but it doesn't really give us any answers on the low compression. This side wasn't as low. That other side was 50 to 55. And I think this side was about 85 to 90. So it wasn't as bad, but still not very good. But cylinder walls don't look too bad. Um, I mean, they all look pretty good. That cool is just from us dropping it you know making a mess apparently this thing was running with water at some point because it's awfully rusty but the coolant still looked good as it was flowing through but looked pretty rough so anyway we got all that off got both heads sitting over there the valves look better on the head we just took off than that one let me hop out of here i'll flip it over and show you all right so i think I think it's this head, yeah. This is the head we just oh, took off. So you can see this head, those valves look a lot better than the other side. So like I said, the wetness is just us doing a wet compression test yesterday with the oil. So everything still looks all right on this one. So like I said, I'll take it to the machine shop tomorrow, engine guy, and uh, or Monday. So it'll be a couple days before I can take it. But anyway, everything looks to be all right. So we're going to kind of just get our mess cleaned up and see what he says. And we'll go from there. I mean, it's we've done all we can kind of do today and uh, until he gives us what he thinks we need to do. There's not much else we can do. So that's the way it goes. It wasn't too bad to get all this off. Um, I can see why people buy and work on Chevrolets because there's a lot of engine bay you could just stand in and work on. It's uh, It wasn't too bad at all. We got everything out. Like I said, we'll just clean our mess up and uh, go from there. It's all we can do for now, so you can't win them all.
good? Yep. I think that's these. I'm not grabbing them. I'm probably just going to snatch it up. That's fine. I'm ready. ready. Yep. I'm ready when you are. Oh. That's it. So we'll hop down and we'll do the other side. Alright. So I'm thinking that we'll just have both of them on and we'll kind of teamwork, put all the sealer and everything in them. Should be yep, directly below three. Four, that's four. Five's right across. Six is back in the block at seventy five. Seven. Nine is above eight. Ten is back at the bottom. Eleven is at the bottom. I got those backward. That's okay. 13 is this one. At 75. Fourteen is the one directly below it. Sucks to get to. Fifteen. Fifteen is this side. Yep. Fifteen. And sixteen. All right, so we'll go back through. Just double check. 
All right, heads are torqued down. Sweet. All right, now that we've got the heads on and all torqued down real good, I'll kind of give you a rundown of what we had. So, set the heads off about a month ago to uh, get remachined and uh, took them to a machine shop. They were super backed up. It's nothing on them. It's just real busy and it's not a huge shop. So, we uh, had to wait some. So, it was about a month. But, uh, long story short, um, you saw where we took them off and was trying to figure it out. And uh, basically, everything was bad. So, it's got new valve springs, all new valve train valves. The valves were bent just because of age. The heads were warped. Um, so that's kind of what took so long. Everything got replaced. It's got all new stainless steel hardware. It's got um, aftermarket, you know, beefier valve springs. So if we ever want to put a cam in it in the future, shouldn't be a big deal. Shouldn't even have to pull the heads off. Should just be able to pop the push rods out and uh, drop a cam in it. So that's kind of what it was. Um, they were saying that basically none of the valves had held any pressure they did a pressure test before and they said they wouldn't even hold 10 pounds of pressure so i'm gonna say that that was probably our main issue of backfiring out the carburetor um the way they talked they were surprised it even run as well as it did so anyway it's so like i said that's kind of that's kind of where we're going so we're going to try to get some more of this knocked out and get this thing put together and hopefully get it fired up pretty soon so that's kind of the game plan on what we got. And that's what we got going on. So we've got all fresh top end. So pretty exciting. Hopefully everything's good in the bottom end. That was one thing about it. The truck didn't smoke. So I'm going to say it's still got rings and everything else. So I'm not too concerned about it. But uh, got a got quite a bit of work to get done still. But shouldn't be too big of a deal to, to get knocked out. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have it running by the end of the week. But... We'll see. Ready? Yep. Because I'm probably gonna have to switch my... Now it's right in the way. Yep, I got it. All right, you right, cleared my head. Yep, just like that. Yep, you're just sitting on that rubber hose is what's <laughs> so good let's drop down 1100 still temps at 148 now it's looking good One sixty.
That's better. All right, let's drop down some more. We're at 760. Yeah, it may have still been cold. But that's... Okay. That may have been what it was, because it was just... Well, it was little baby cats. It wasn't... I wasn't getting on it yet. Well, we're still breaking in all the... older technology than today. Yeah, well, we're still breaking in all that new valve train, too. I don't want to feed on it. No. I just wanted to do what it's doing. Yeah. I don't see any leaks or anything yet. Yeah. Why not? I just looked down here. Okay. Yeah, no, everything everything looks good under here. Everything seems to be smooth, no squealing down. No, I mean we're we're good. It's uh Alright. Yeah, we're about at temperature. It's 186. Got 46 pounds of oil pressure, so. Yeah, no, it's 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 OBD one. It's too old. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna love this. This is so much. I don't either, but it. All right. It almost sounded like valve train. What I thought. It was just for a second, though. It was. It's quiet, though. It is quiet. I mean, it's like comfortably quiet. Like I. That's good. You can't drive it. No. You well. Making up noise for you. Yeah. Well, I put the fix. I know. There, there's the fix in there. There's no. some more. Uh, we'll just let it sit here and run some more. Oh, not bad. 210. Ready? Yep. It's smooth. It's smooth. About 750, that should be pretty close. All right. Alright. Yeah, oil pressure is a little better there. No, it's uh it's staying a whole lot cooler now. Like 200. Yeah, no, whatever we did, we did it right. Or whatever they did, they did right. All right, yeah, so you said you were, zero. we're still at zero. Yeah. All right, well, let me, uh, I don't remember which way it went, so. Uh, should be, should be toward me. I think so. Nope. Nope. You're on your first big mark, which is, uh, four. Should be four. Right. You gonna start there? Yeah, go see if the time. Is my lint or your... Uh, it's not like your idle went up. 
it being Oh, or barely 800, 790. So that's not bad. Try it there. Yeah. Yeah. A big old motor, that thing's quiet. It's quiet. On big mufflers and everything else. I mean, I'm quite impressed like with. A Cadillac out of a Chevy. That's what he wanted. I know. If we're close. I mean, it sounds like it's pretty close. We can. I don't know. I mean, that's that's not that wide open again, but I know. No, you, we don't have the vacuum. We need to hook, I guess, well, we want to hook the vacuum advance up and then. Yeah, we will. Uh, we don't leave it at four then? We can start at four. I don't know, you tell me. Because nobody really seems to agree on it. Or I can't find an agreement on it. But they say start at four. Well, what I was reading for the heavy duties is four degrees. Well, we think we have a heavy duty. Right. So that's probably where we need to be then. Alright, we'll lock it down and we'll check it again. Okay. And then we'll hook the back on. Alright. Well, so far so good. We've uh we've kinda run it a little bit. Heat cycled it only a couple times. Right now, you know, we didn't change cams or lifters or anything like that. So all that's still pretty set. We haven't gone we haven't opened those other barrels up yet to to make sure it doesn't backfire or anything weird. We've got it set at four degrees of initial timing. We don't have any way of checking total timing, you know, with it at 3,000 RPMs or whatever. So we just got it set at four degrees. This should be a heavy duty motor. Come out of 77 Suburban. So if anybody's got any um, thoughts or opinions on it, I'm all ears because I'm just going off what I can read on the internet. I don't have any books or anything on this. So we're just kind of shooting in the dark. But Everything's looking pretty good. No leaks, no smoking. It's not, you know, super rich and burning your eyes. Nothing weird. Uh, temp staying about 205, 210, somewhere in there. So that seems to be all right. Um, obviously, there's no hood on it or anything. So we'll kind of cross that bridge there. But that just seems about what everybody seems comfortable with. It's a little high but for me, but I like to keep it a little cooler because I have a overheating problem but anyway so that's where we're at we're gonna fiddle with it some more and then we'll do some kind of flipping the throttle it wide open to make sure it's all gonna do right here in a little while but gotta re-bleed the brakes check all that good stuff and uh we're getting close we're getting close all right i guess we're gonna see what it does Make sure that linkage is all good over there. It just don't seem like it's... Surely it's not progressive, is it? Nothing bound up or nothing? No, 
Well, that's what I was looking at. How long it is bound up? It is going to open. Yeah, shut it down. Okay. Yeah, I don't know exactly. We're going to pop it off, figure out which, where it's supposed to be. Okay. Hope I don't have to take that carburetor back off. Mm, that would suck. It would. For you. Yeah. All righty. We, uh, we got it kind of figured out. We got the brakes bled. We decided to pull it off the uh, booster. We're still having a kind of a weird over boosting issue with the brakes. They just, it, it seems like it's way too much. So we took it off. Seems a lot better. The linkage was just this really polished linkage was kind of in a weird bind. So I think we got all the barrels opening up and all that doing good. So getting the wheels on it now and uh, gonna torque them down. It'll be the first time this thing's been on the ground since the suspension. And it'll be the first time these tires have been bolted on all the way. So super excited. We got some more cleaning up to do, but we'll, uh, we'll be out driving this thing here shortly. But she's on the ground for the first time since it's all been put together and it is low. We are, we are low and it's low in the back and it looks good. Tuck a little bit of tire back here. These are 295s and the front's 245s. You can see we just have a little bit of clearance, but it looks good. So we're going to get everything else swept up and cleaned up. Well, Dad's already got toolbox out of the way, so it's ready to go on its maiden voyage. And I am excited. So everything's looking good. Looking real good. It's also super low. It is. Turn your blinker on. Turn my blinker on because it works. I could use a visor. Yeah, I could. Well, that's probably gonna be the next thing on the list then once they get it. Yeah, I think so. I it's smooth. I'll tell I'll you what though. Yeah, well, I noticed when you give it gas earlier, it kind of sputtered. Yeah. You're going to want to slow down because we ain't got... That's all around the floor. Nah, pretty close to the very Yeah, end. but it was enough. It didn't lock them up, though. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It, 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 it stopped. There's no panic braking. No, it's not inspiring. No. That's... Well, yeah. The power steering is a little, little stiff. But, crap, when was the last time you drove a yeah. 70s model car? Right, so, I mean... I did. Yeah, I mean, the, the brakes aren't good, but no, I'm sure the power steering is probably just, it's heavy. It is. You've also got wider tires on it than it had in the 70s and 80s also, so. Or all the way up till. Right. I got it. Yep. Everything's looking good though. Yeah, we're still. Temperature, uh, low pressure. Well, you got straight stretch. You ain't got to get on too much. Just see where they're going. Oh yeah, oh that's easy to fix too. I know. So that's not bad for just putting it back together. Seat's locked in. That was all the way, basically all the way down that I wanted it. Kind of, kind of figured that. Here's work. 
Alright. Oh yeah, this one's not. No. It everything's working other than the brakes, so we'll just have to unfortunately we'll just have to dial that back in. I don't know what the dialing in is. It sounds good. And that was with uh, uh, everything closed. Yeah, no, that's that ain't bad. Man, that sucks. I might have been the second. That might have been part of my problem. Yeah. Hey, there's no backup camera. No. Yeah, don't don't put it in the ditch. But I'm trying to. I know. Trying to figure out my mirrors. <laughs> This one? Yeah, bring it in a little bit for me. Well, you got the big mirror down here. I do, and it works, but I can't even. Better or worse? Uh, I'm good enough. Not even close, but I can see it out a little bit. Well, just, it's a short bed. It's a standard you look cam over, short. You look over your shoulder. Right. Oh, well, you've been driving these things for prime? years. Yes. <laughs> you've been driving these things longer than I've been alive, and you're like, I can't drive it. It ain't got no mirrors. It ain't got, mine doesn't even have mirrors. Alright, what were you thinking? I wasn't. Alright, you ready? Yeah, I suppose. Oh, it's so low. Sounds good though. Yes, no? What are you looking at? I'm just keeping an eye on everything. No? It's looking good. All right. in our future. Yep. Yeah. Yep, because that's not even No. That's I mean, what I thought just bouncing around here. And yeah. what what concerns me is like when you get out on the road and you're in a corner and you hit a bump hard if it'll make it scoop. I don't know if it'll make it scoop, but I know I bet with enough body roll you go on like an exit ramp. That's what I mean. I bet it just lay on the frame on one side. Oh I'm sure it will. Well, I guess while we're figuring out brakes, I may be putting a C notch in. So I mean, we, we give it to them, but it depends on when we get the brakes done. But yeah, no, that's uh, that's definitely gonna need uh, a C notch. How close is it? Can you see? Oh, it's on top of it. Is it? Let's see. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's just enough to say there's light in between it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not going to say you're not touching, but I wouldn't put my fingers in between it with you sitting in it. Or if I wiggle? Yeah, and I'm not calling you big, I'm just saying that we got, uh, she's low. Yeah. Well, but it looks great notch. though. You can go up, but why would we go up? No, because the front's got to come down. So, yes, if, they, if we did anything, we'd have to bring the front down. Yeah. And really the only way to do that that I know of is uh, spindle. Yeah, but that's what, two inches? I don't know if you can get anything shorter than that. Probably not. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge. I mean, we could honestly go up just a little bit just to get us by for now. Yeah, I, there's a. Yeah, another it's set the of shackles. Yeah. That I can go up at. Yeah. So that may, be, that may be what we do instead. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see how high it goes up because what it should be a one. Should be a one inch, because that's what's on the lightning. You could you could either do a I one inch drop or, <coughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's no, why it's... I had to cut 
Yep. You know, so many. But the so fitment's really good. I mean, it everything is. else is really, really good. So oh, I like it. I'm like excited. I said, we may we may look at that just see if we can get by some time. Like I said, it depends on how long it takes to get the brakes done. I mean, if it unfortunately takes us a while, like the. Well, it depends on if they say, "Oh, we're going to send you another master cylinder or something." Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't. don't even know I'm not even what, sure because we bench bled twice. I know. We've bled probably four or five, five times at this point, and there's I not a lick of. vacuum on it or do some kind of, but i can't find any air in it no no I can't figure out why no i don't know yeah we'll just we'll just have to we'll have to call the manufacturer and see what they say